All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. We've got a knife to review from my buddy Kevin Lefty EDC and Quiet Carry. This is the Drift. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV, and let's get started. So let's start by checking out the box. You've got uh, this great image of the knife here. Um, this is the black G10 version. Uh, there you go, and it is one of these awesome uh, magnetic closure boxes. So there you go. Thank you for your purchase. Whoops. Lifetime, throw it on the floor. When warranty? Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. There's the warranty if you guys want to see it. Very, very cool. Uh, cut out for the knife in the box. Really cool. Kevin, thank you so much for sending this one to me. Now, this is the Black G10 and Vanex uh, Quiet Carry Drift, guys. Really, really cool thumb stud deployment knife. Does have these telltale um, holes up here in the top. Quiet carries thing, if you will. You do have some skeletonization down in the liners. <coughs> Deep carry wire loop over pocket clip. Uh, do have a G10 backspacer. Wow, getting out of focus. There you see your stop pin and everything else. Very, very cool. Do have some chamfering here and a uh, lane to get through to your lock bar. Um, chamfered off on the edges of the G10. Great grippy G10, but not overly done. You can slide across it, but you can also dig into it, which I think is like the telltale sign of good G10. Um, good lockup, I'd say about 40 to 45 even, uh, but it, it definitely drops well. Um, well, again, it's a shaker, uh, so you have to give it a little shake, and then there you go. Uh, it doesn't, you know, really, like, drop down to your thumb until you give it a little assistance, but again, good enough for me. It's perfect. So as far as this finish, you do have a stonewash blade, Vanix, quiet carry, lovely um, milling on the uh, thumb studs there. They are able to be taken off. Um, really cool good size finger choil, uh, no blade play, no lock rock, and again, good lock up. Let's see how is it centered. Very well done on that. I do dig the pocket clip, guys. It's a little stiffer than some wire clips um, because it seems to be the wires are a little thicker, in my opinion. It is uh, reversible left and right, which is really cool. Uh, does, uh, you know, really well done flat on the screws, uh, and again, nice, well done on all of those touches. So really good. Now, good fit in my hand. It is a four finger knife. Now you have this swell toward the back. Um, so it's good that my hand fits like that. If I had bigger hands, I think I might be up on that nub a little bit, but I'm not, uh, fits good. And for me, uh, again, the money shot here is this, I do wish the jipping went a little further up, but that's just for me. But even without it, uh, really good grip down in here. I love it. Good room uh, for my finger. Again, it's not super generous, but it's plenty. Now, if you're back here, the the, the uh, jimping is in a perfect spot, and it's pretty good jimping. Again, it's not super aggressive. It's pretty low profile, uh, but it does its job very, very much so. Love this drop point blade style. Now, you guys know that's one of my favorites. Now, let's do something we never do here on the Nice Fast channel. We're going to cut uh, because of that. Good night. <laughs> Again, now I screwed it up, but you saw the first one. That's all you need to see. Holy moly. Whoops. Okay, apparently I can only do one cut per side. Um, there you go. Just laser beam, guys. This thing is really well done in that regard. Super thin. It's, I mean, look how thin it is. Uh, let's talk about those specs a little bit. Um, and I'll put it down here where you can see it while I'm doing that. Get that Quiet Carry logo uncovered. Uh, it is 2.98 inches on the blade. Uh, the the um, handle is 3.94. It is a drop point stone wash blade. Uh, Vanek super clean is that steel. So now that is very corrosion resistant, guys. Uh, and the liners are LC200N and Zfinit. Um, so again, there, this whole knife is made. Again, it runs on phosphor bronze washers. It is a liner lock. Uh, but it's made to be corrosion resistant. 
Uh, and I've heard people say that people that usually have trouble, matter of fact, this one comes from Kevin, who usually has trouble with Rust and no, no issues with this whatsoever. Uh, the open length, so the overall length is 6.94. The blade thickness is just 0 .090 inches. Uh, just a laser beam, guys. Uh, the blade ground is flat. Um, the thumb stud is made out of aluminum. They give you all kinds of, of uh, things here. The detent is ceramic, a ceramic ball, and the weight is three ounces. So, guys, overall, this is a wonderful knife for me. Uh, great EDC size, great weight at three ounces. Um, I, I, do I wish the blade, I mean, it's right at three inches. If it was like 3.3, I think it'd be money for me. Um, I don't want to lose any of this uh, uh, toil at all. Uh, so just a little bit longer might be cool. And um, again, just just my opinion. Now let's do a couple of comparisons here just because I have the ability to do so. So uh, I want to compare it with uh, the Ferrum Ford Stinger. Now let me move them down here where you can see a little bit better. Um, so as you can see, they're, they're relatively close in size. Uh, the Stinger is ever so slightly longer on the blade and the handle. Um, as far as tallness, uh, they're very similar, but the quiet carry is a little taller on the blade and a little taller on the handle. And I think that's why it fills my hand a little bit better. I did say I really like the way the Stinger fits, um, but the quiet carry fits my hand way better uh, because it's a little taller uh, in that regard. But you can see they compare very well. The second one I want to do, just got this in from Keith, um, Keith the Knife Freak or Kiefer, as you might call him. Uh, this is the quiet carry waypoint, another quiet carry knife for me to take a look at. As you can see, the waypoint is a little longer, both on the blade and the handle and quite a bit, um, less tall. Uh, there you go. And it is a hollow grind. Uh, obviously the drift has more of a, uh, angle to it. They're both in that Vanex steel. Uh, but just a good comparison overall, if you know, uh, those knives. So there you go. Two really good comparisons. I'm really digging this knife. I'm probably going to have to get one uh, at some point. Now, here's the the hang up where some people will hang up uh, on this one. This is a $250 knife. Now, if you compare it to most G10 and, you know, knives of this size, you know, you're, you're obviously going to get hung up on the fact uh, that this guy is pricey. Now, you have those LTC 200, uh, you know, uh, liners. Uh, you do have Vanex for the steel. Uh, so that's going to bring the price up significantly. Plus, there's some other touches on this knife. Uh, the chamfering, the the titanium on the uh, thumb studs that are going to bring it up. Uh, so it's really going to have to be up to you whether this is a $250 knife for you or not. Um, again, you're paying for that corrosion resistance. You're paying for uh, you know a company that does these very, very well. And again... Uh, even with those um, those washers, it's got good smooth action, great whip open opening uh, on those thumb studs. Just really cool. I dig this one a lot. I'm not sure yet if this is a two hundred and fifty dollar knife for me or not. Now, if you want the the um, titanium scaled ones, they'll run you up in the three hundred three hundred and ten. Uh, range when they're available. Now, speaking of which, I will put a link in the description, but these are not currently available. I did see where Quiet Carry said there will be a, a run of these coming soon, so keep your eyes out on their website, which I will link below. So, Kevin, thank you so much for sending this, man. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, going to get it back to you soon, and I appreciate it. And guys, uh, give me a thumbs up. And by the way, if you're not following Lefty EDC, you should be doing that. Go sub to him. Go check him out on, on Instagram. And guys, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think of this one. And thanks ever so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.